What's up guys, Forest Knight here, and Cocoa Touch Class or Swift File? We're going to be talking about what the difference is after a short service announcement, and that would be follow me on Instagram. I post some cool pictures, MacBook pictures, coding pictures. I'm going to start posting watered down versions of these videos and answer some questions over there. So, follow me on Instagram, forest.swift. But let's get into the video. Cocoa Touch Class or Swift File? So, let's go come on over to the computer so we can get a better understanding but in lamest terms they're the same thing except a Cocoa Touch class is a template it kind of it puts out a template and then Swift file is just a blank file so for example here's a regular Swift file it comes with your boilerplate code and this is it import foundation and then the comments if you come on over and create new file this is where you'll have the option Swift file Cocoa Touch class or any of these others Let's click on Coco Touch Class, for example, and create, hmm, let's create something that we would normally use, like a UI table view controller example, because I don't want to get it confused with my current project. Next, you can also create a zip file with this, but let's not worry about that for now. As you'll see, we have a whole lot more code. We have class table view controller example, which is a subclass of UI table view controller. And then we have all this other boilerplate code. And that's that's the difference, is that we get all of this good stuff in uh, Cocoa Touch class. So here's another one. This is CA animation group named example. Here's another one, UI collection view cell. Here's another one, UI view controller. I didn't write any of this code. I just created a Cocoa Touch class and chose the what class I wanted to create and what I wanted that uh, to be a subclass of. That's the only difference between a Swift file and a Cocoa Touch class, or you can think of it as a template file if that helps you out, because that's really all it is. It's a template. And <laughs> I don't know, this is a short little video, but I should really hope it helps you out. And that's really all you need to know is Cocoa Touch class and Swift file, because I'm sure you've been watching videos and you see them make a Swift file sometimes, you see them make Cocoa Touch class sometimes, and you're kind of like, why in the world? Do they make these two different things at random times I don't understand? Well, now you do. And I hope it helped you out. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Also, I'll be updating in this upcoming week. Uh, we'll be finishing up the Firebase and GeoFire series. And until next time, have a good one.